Pro Football Weekly is previewing the offseason for all 32 teams. Right now, we're looking at the Super Bowl runners-up, New England Patriots. If you, I think if you ask a lot of people in New England, they probably need to blow up everything. It seems like Tom Brady needs to go, Rob Gronkowski needs to go because he was dancing afterwards. But let's start with the defense, Kevin. What needs to be done to revamp that side of the ball? You know, the one positive for that defense, Adam, is the fact that it played pretty well in the playoffs. You look at what they did against the Broncos, the Ravens, uh, and then in the Super Bowl against the Giants. They really played their best football down the stretch. We can give you a little bit some, of some positives going forward, but they still need better personnel, especially in the back end. Could use another pass rusher, maybe. You know, they have two picks in the first round, two picks in the second round of the draft. We can go there, maybe in free agency a little bit as well. Also, they had two defensive backs on injured reserve, Razai Dowling and Josh Barrett. Both those guys could factor in next year. And right, they did play well down the stretch. It wasn't the defense that really caused them to lose the Super Bowl. That offensive line, also a big question mark. A lot of injuries changes during the year. Some guys are free agents, some guys are older. What do you expect to happen there? You know, it's funny with that unit. It played really well all season. It's a veteran unit. And last year, there were some question marks, and they all returned. And it was all pretty much the same guys. And that could happen again. You know, Matt Light and Brian Waters are kind of nearing the end of their career. Either one of those guys could be a retirement candidate. You got Dan Connolly and Dan Cope, and the two centers both are free agents, so the team will have to make decisions there. You know, they have some youth. Nate Solder played very well all year. Marcus Cannon as well, but if guys retire, if they decide not to resign players in free agency, there could be a whole new unit, or it could be just like this year, and it's because the same guys will be back. Brian Waters, a late addition last year, and turned out to be a really good find for them. The question it seems like that has hindered the Patriots in the recent years anyways, since Randy Moss left, a deep threat at wide receiver. Do you see one coming on the horizon? Well, I think it might be, again, through, through the draft. They might go get another outside receiver. They've kind of failed there. Brandon Tate didn't work out. Taylor Price. And obviously, the offseason acquisition of Chad Ochocinco didn't work either. You know, we've seen the Patriots offense move the ball so well with what they've got, which is the two tight ends, Wes Walker, Deion Branch. Branch is nearing, you know, the end of his career. And it wouldn't hurt the offense to have a big, speedy receiver to go on the outside. Just another weapon for Tom Brady. I think they might try again to find someone. It could be Brandon Lloyd. We've already heard his name mentioned with the Patriots. Josh McDaniels there. He had his best year, obviously, with the Broncos. That's a look at the offseason for the New England Patriots for the best coverage of the league. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.